hello guys hello lovely so welcome i hope you're all doing okay so welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm michelle and thank you thank you thank you for the new subscribers feel welcome and also feel free to like ask me any question or about anything you'd like to know about whether it's maybe au pair related or maybe like living abroad as a kenyan yes yeah, so feel welcome okay so today i'm back again with another informative video because i have been getting pressed to like talk about this yeah so okay so first day i'm going to like talk about host families sites to find host families and also like tips on writing a good dear family letter plus other things okay so I'm, i'll try to like maybe put the images of the sites i'm going to mention over here maybe over here okay so first things first like people don't know but the if you if you want to get a family you have to be very determined and you should send as many messages as possible so that if for example you send 100 messages today and you get 50 maybe 50 50 families who do not want you at least there's chance for the other 50 to maybe tell you there's space for you yeah, so the key is to keep on sending messages like you should not get tired because over here we don't get tired if you want something you go for it okay so i'm going to like start with the sites and then later i'm going to like jump in into how to maybe like write a good dear family letter also like don't mind my face i got sun sunburned and uh, it's almost that time of the month so my hormones are acting up okay so aside from that i'm here to like to, to tell you some of the sites that you can find host families from yeah so i'm going to start with opia world opia world basically is free i got my family through opia world and i also know of other people who got families through opia world so the first is opia world i'm going to insert the images maybe around here Okay, so the first is Opia World, and the trick with Opia World is that there are very many families, and you don't have to pay for anything. You just basically go there, create a profile, you indicate on the profile which country you'd like to be an au pair in, blah blah blah. Maybe you select who you think is suitable for you, and then you start sending messages. And also, Opia World usually refers families according to your search criteria, so you don't have to be worried about that okay plus i have been hearing complaints that people are being blocked from maybe creating accounts on opera world i don't know why but i guess maybe for some people it's not possible but for some others they are able to create it so i would advise for those who maybe have not been successful in creating accounts on opera world they can try other sites okay so the other site is opera.com so for opera.com it's kind of free and not free because if you're not a premium member you cannot communicate with premium hosts i don't know if i'm making sense so yes actually i know of a girl sorry uh, a beautiful lady who paid for, who paid who paid who paid for an account on opera world and they created an account and they got a family and i also know of someone who did not of also another beautiful lady who did not pay and they got a family so it's like a two-way traffic if you are in for it and maybe if you if you are willing to pay you can go ahead and pay so the second one is opair.com the third one is energy opair yes energy opair i've not tried that but i have seen people recommending it energy opair the other one is Alfini. I actually tried using Alfini. Yes, I also tried using Alfini. Actually, if you want to go to like Denmark, maybe if you are mainly interested in Denmark, I would advise you to like try Alfini because most families that have most Danish families are using Alfini. Yes, and <clears throat> sorry, the other one is Opera International. If you want to go to Netherlands, you can also use that actually. Um, also not alone netherlands but maybe also other other countries you can look at opera international and the trick is to create a good profile like create a good profile so that it can attract the host families 
okay so the other one is au pair butterfly in au pair butterfly it's both ways you can either pay you pay to communicate to families who are who paid like it's also a two-way traffic like opair.com but in opair butterfly you can get a family even if you're not paying for it so there's two ways you can either be a premium member or that's just a regular member and you'll still find a host the trick is for you to keep on sending many messages as possible to different hosts because you never know okay so i've said opair world opair.com i'm reading over here opair world opair.com energy opair or alfini opair international opair butterfly okay so the other one is facebook groups I know of people who have gotten hosts from Facebook, so you don't have to shy from it. You just go to Facebook. If you have a Facebook account, if you don't have, you can create one. And then maybe you go. You can actually upload pictures or photos of you with children, maybe doing different activities. And then maybe you like, you can maybe write, describe the type of picture maybe you've put there. Maybe to assume it's, it's on Monday and you are doing like creative activities, maybe like baking or drawing you just write over there and then you go to the face sorry to those facebook or pair host group and then you'll find a number of hosts looking for au pairs actually i remember there was a time i found a, i found a host from from facebook she was in the uk but she was german so she was like relocating back to german and she wanted an au pair yeah so i she interviewed me but unfortunately we did not like match so we had to like let it go yes yeah, so you can also find hosts from au pair sorry from facebook you just go to the facebook sites for example you can go to au pair i think i'll maybe search for an example and put it over here for example you can go to au pair stroke host in europe and then you Firstly, you have to you have to create a profile because it's a group and they have to like accept you in. After them accepting you in, you will find like a number of hosts looking for families. And then you, what you do is that you comment down there that you are interested, and then maybe they'll tell you to send them a private message. After that, you maybe you'll exchange numbers and do an interview. Okay, so the other one is find au pair. It's also a site, like a new site that I found recently. So it's like findopair.com. I'll try to like put pictures over here. You just go there, you create, you create profiles and you'll be good. And then there's Opair Care. You also go to Opair Care. You create a profile. After creating a profile, you start contacting hosts by sending them letters. Okay, so the next thing you're going to talk about is the dear family letter. Yes, yeah, so yeah. Okay, so this the first segment was me mentioning some of the sites that you can find families from, which I say there's Opia World, Opia.com, Energy Opia. I'm going to insert pictures, Alfini, Opia International, Opia Butterfly, Facebook groups, find Opia.com and then au pair care i was going to mention like great au pair but great au pair is basically for families in the uk and in the us and us as kenyans we cannot be au pairs in the uk and the us okay so the second segment will be me telling you about like tips and tricks on how to write a good dear family letter because i received a number of pleas people were asking me how they can write a successful letter so i'm here to tell you so first before like before before you write the dear family letter obviously the letter has to be about you but like the main focus is not about you the main focus is what you give to the family when you go over there mind you it's a 50 50 like take and take because for them they you personally you you are coming over here with an intention of learning a new language integrating in a new culture blah 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 all those so first in the letter for example um michelle so you have to start first by like greeting the family maybe dear michelle family and then after you go down you like greet them like hello i hope you're all doing okay 
and then after that you go and introduce yourself after introducing yourself just like a short and brief okay so the dear family letter has to be like very you have to summarize basically like everything about yourself what you have to offer maybe their experience or maybe their how do they say it maybe the Hey, imepotea. Maybe vitu zenyo, basically vitu zenyo mwenyewe unaweza offer. So, like, hello. You start with dear Michelle family. Hello, how are you all doing today? Alafu chini unendelea, I am Michelle. Maybe if you are, if you are Rose, I am Rose. Maybe 23 years. Kenyan. Alafu, like paragraph ya kwanza, basically unaongea kujiusu. Maybe you are a, maybe wewe ni student, still uko, uko high school, unaandika. Alafu unaandika hobbies zako. After kuandika hobbies zako, alafu kuna kitu niligundua, like, ukiandika yo dear family letter, don't show that you are very desperate. I don't know that if you, if I get this opportunity, I'm going to do what? No. You just basically just express yourself through the dear family letter and tell the family what they want to hear. Kenya waki like Kenya waki soma, it will like, capture their attention and they want to know more about you. So after introducing yourself, introducing yourself, tell them about their hob your hobbies, your hobbies. Also like tell them about your experience with children. After telling them your experience with children. Next, unawambia, like, mbona unayaza penda kuenda kukaa nao. Maybe unawambia, I have seen your family of blah, blah, blah. Maybe family of five plus three children. Unayaza penda kukuja kukaa kwa yo. Oh, I got complaints that I'm, I'm speaking Swahili. I don't know why, but it's because I think I'm addressing like Kenyan. So, okay, so, <clears throat> first, you have to, like, tell them about yourself. Second, talk about your hobbies and the hobbies, like equal at least, like obviously, uneza danganya, useme maybe you like volunteering where children are working, vitu kama hizo hizo. Hobbies, after hobbies, you tell them your experience with children, like your background with children, because no one will want you to come live with them if you don't have like a background or or you have or an experience with dealing with children. So after telling them your experience with children, you have to also tell them why you want to go live with them. Like why have you chosen them? Yeah, after you maybe you just share with them a few things, but or you can even tell them, apart from me sharing with them a few things, you can maybe tell them that I would like to be part of your family because I know I'll gain a lot from this, I'll learn a new language. I can also maybe like teach your children English. Maybe for example, you're going to a family where they want their children to learn English. Maybe I can. Because it's a give and take. Like they give you this, they take this, you give them this, and you take this. So you have to be very specific. And the dear family letter should be short and precise. Because if they're interested in you, basically they'll go back to your profile and they'll read through your profile. Yes. So guys, so that's it for today's video. If you have any question, just feel free to ask me. You can write it down on the comment section. I'll gladly answer. Yes, so that's it. Bye. And feel free to subscribe, comment, share, like. Yes, and you can also follow me on TikTok because I'm a celebrity over there. I'm joking. So, guys, so that's all. That's all for today. Yes, so bye. Kisses. Also, oh, before I close this, also remember the trick is to send as many messages as possible because you can't send one message to only one family in a day and then expect like a positive response. Like you have to keep on pushing. You have to keep on pushing, pushing, pushing. If you have a problem with your, with your letter, maybe you can tell me and then we'll exchange numbers and then maybe I can guide you on how to write a good dear family letter. But... You can't just be lazy or like usikwe lazy that leo una sent messages kesho how to me no haita haiwa kivo or maybe if you have kama kwa na pesa ya kunini kulipia agency you can opt to pay for an agency to do it for you at a fee 
but if you don't have the money like the trick is to send as many messages as possible every day like before you sleep wake up in the morning before maybe you leave for work or you leave for school wake up send even 20 messages during the day when you come back in the evening before you sleep send also 20 messages like just to be sure keep pushing each and every day at least you'll get something positive but you can't be sending messages today and then you lose hope tomorrow no Okay, so bye.